Liberty Benton's Michaela Butler is one of the fastest girls in Ohio, and she's got the medals to prove it. The sprinter has five state titles on the track, winning the 200 meter dash three years in a row and the 100 each of the last two seasons, not to mention setting the state record in the 100 and leading Liberty Benton to the D2 team title in 2015. This week's OIO Prep Profile highlights Michaela's already legendary high school career as she prepares for a fourth and final trip to Jesse Owens Memorial Stadium. It's been an amazing trip. I love this entire journey that I've taken um, for LB and running for them. To have been to say it that many times and to have had the victories that I've had, I consider it such a blessing and not something that I take for granted. She kind of has been committed to it year round as far as doing all kinds of different things to continue to develop her abilities. That combination, obviously talent and hard work is something that's really hard to beat. You know, some people have one or the other, but when you put it together, you know, you kind of put together what, what she's been able to accomplish. On the track, Butler is a sight to see from beginning to end, but it's her start out of the box that sets Michaela apart. Many a time, yeah, someone may have equal foot speed, but if they're already behind at 30 or 40 meters in a 100 meter dash, that's it's too short, there's no time to make that up. Butler has placed first in every individual running event except for two in her high school career. So since she rarely loses, Michaela competes against herself. Each year it's always a goal to um, try and PR and be at my personal best. It's definitely something I'm still trying to do while still going out there and competing against other people. I'm definitely still competing against myself and what I've accomplished in the past. This weekend, she will be running in the 100, 200, 4x100 relay, and 4x200 relay at regionals. Hopefully on the same kind of you know plan as last year at regionals, she started to run really well. That's when she you know, she set a PR in the 100 there. She also PR'd in the 200. Um, you know, so, so we're looking you know, for things to really start to come into shape this week. And then as we go down to the state meet, just really be you know, ready to go and be fresh and feeling good. I remember my freshman year going into it, I was absolutely overwhelmed by all the people, all the competitors there. They, it's really a different atmosphere. And to have been there three other years, um, I think that definitely helps being comfortable on that track, but no matter what it comes down to, I'm still gonna have to race to defend my title. After high school, Butler will continue her running career at Notre Dame, choosing South Bend over Harvard and Stanford. It was an amazing opportunity to be on some of those campuses. I loved, loved being there. Um, but Notre Dame, I think, had what I wanted academically and athletically. After going back and thinking on it, it felt more like home, and I felt comfortable with the girls there on the team. They've got great coaches at that level, um, you know, that'll really know how to use her and plan workouts and all that stuff for her. So I think that she'll, you know, excel there. For anyone when they go to college, it's a little bit different. But you know, I think just the the fact that she's been so committed to this for you know the last few years will kind of make that transition a little bit easier for her. With the Eagles, I'm Matt Finkel for the Sports Report.